Did you know that soaking certain types of seeds can help them germinate faster? There's a hard coating on some types of seeds that makes it hard for the water to get in, which will slow the germination process. But if you soak your seeds, you can jumpstart that germination process by softening this outer layer, which allows the moisture to get in to help break dormancy. For years, I've been soaking seeds that had that harder outer layer overnight to help them germinate faster. I also pre-germinate some seeds while I wait for space to open up in the garden. I like to keep things full so that I can grow more in less space. For giggles and grins, I wanted to find out how much time am I actually saving with these extra steps? How much faster do soaked seeds germinate? And does pre-germination actually help me get to a harvest faster? So I did a quick experiment. Using three different varieties of beans, I used um, dragon tongue, French fillet, and jade. I had three treatments for each, uh, for each type of bean. The first set was the control. I planted those directly into the garden. A second set I soaked overnight. I had originally planned to soak for 24 hours, but the next morning when I saw how much water the bean seeds had absorbed, I went ahead and, and planted those the next morning instead of waiting the full 24 hours. A third set I pre-germinated. I put the seeds on a damp paper towel, put that inside a baggie, and uh, three to five days later, after they started to germinate, I went ahead and planted them in the garden. So everything was started at the same time. Does it work? Can I get the beans faster? Well, using my experimental design background, of course, I had to do three reps of each treatment. I use a square foot garden spacing, so I planted three squares of each variety with all three treatments in each square. With the square foot method, I plant six beans per square. To make it easier to plant, I draw a grid making six squares, then poke holes one inch deep. I place two seeds per square to make sure I have at least one plant coming up in each hole, then press lightly to make sure that the seeds have good contact with the soil before covering them up. I next label each row and then water in thoroughly. These are the pre-germinated seeds. You can see the roots already starting to come out. They're a little bit more germinated than what I typically like to use, so I'm going to be going to have to be extra careful in handling the seeds. I want to make sure that I don't damage the delicate roots. Now you can see the roots coming out, but uh, when I plant them, gravity will take care of the roots, so it will pull it down. I'll try to plant the root side down, but just in case I don't, gravity will take care of it. So gently place it in the hole and cover it up carefully. Whoops. Once they're all covered up, I'm going to label the row and water it in. What I found is that soaking the seeds overnight did not help them germinate any faster than sowing directly. Both sets of seeds came up or sprouted at four to six days. Those that were sown directly, you can see, are coming up nicely versus those that were soaked overnight and planted the next day are just now starting to come up. Pre-germinated seeds germinated in the baggies in two to four days and then came up three to five days after being planted in the ground. The germination rate was much higher than the other two methods, which was surprising. Almost all of them germinated. This is what it looked like on day nine of the experiment. This is rep one, or the first set of seeds. The top row were the seeds that were sown directly, and the middle row were the seeds that were soaked overnight and planted the next day. So there's a one day difference in being in the ground. The bottom row are the pre-germinated seeds that were planted two to four days after the seeds that were sown directly. What I want you to note here is on the middle row, 
fewer of the soaked seeds came up, whereas the pre-germinated seeds are coming up really nicely. There's a two to four day difference in age between the top row and the bottom row, and yet the size difference isn't really that pronounced. Very interesting. This is rep two, or the second set of squares. Again, fewer of the soaked seeds came up, while almost all of the directly sown and pre-germinated seeds came up. The French fillet were the freshest seeds of this set. Uh, the pre-germinated seeds came up the fastest and they were planted after only two to three days, whereas dragon tongue and jade were older seeds, uh, so they germinated slower and were planted four to five days after those that were sown directly. I want you to note the size difference between the uh, three sets or rows of beans. Very interesting. I saw the same thing with rep three. Bottom line, soaking these bean seeds did not help them germinate any faster than sowing them directly. Now it could be the way that I soak the seeds. I soaked them in warm water overnight and then planted them the next day. Other people may have different experiences. And it could be that uh, it may work out differently for different types of seeds, maybe those that have a, a harder outer layer. Now the question on whether or not to pre-germinate the seeds. If my garden is full and I need to wait for space to open up before planting another crop, I think pre-germinating the seeds can help me get to a, a harvest faster. It may or may not be worth the extra effort though if the seeds are fresh uh, or seeds that germinate relatively quickly. However, it's definitely worth the extra effort and care for the seeds that take a long time to germinate or seeds that are older. I also like knowing that uh, I like planting only viable seeds so that I don't have to wait for dud seeds to not come up. I'd love to hear your experiences or any tips that you may have for getting seeds to germinate faster. So please put your suggestions in the comments below. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please help me grow more gardeners by sharing this video with your friends who like to grow their own food. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.